So far, there are still no signs of spills into waterways after thousands more barrels fell to the ground at Barton 1792 in Bardstown. Those barrels came down with the second half of that warehouse collapse on Wednesday. Our Sarah Wagner now with the latest from environmental officials. Barton 1792 Distillery is open for business as usual today, even giving its traditional complimentary tours, except there are a few more visitors on hand today. This drone video shows you the reason for those extra visitors. They make up part of the Environmental Emergency Response Team from the Kentucky Energy and Environment Cabinet, or KEEC. It's been on site since the rest of the warehouse collapsed yesterday. This 911 call made by a security officer at Barton gives a better idea of the moments right after. Uh, we had the collapse of Warehouse 30. Uh, the rest of the warehouse just came down. Okay, and you all weren't expecting it to? We weren't. We thought it might be a possibility. Warehouse 30 housed about 18,000 barrels total. That first collapse almost two weeks ago destroyed nearly half of those. Barton is owned by Sazerac. The company says it's not sure how many barrels can be salvaged yet. This is the first warehouse that we know of that's ever collapsed uh, just due to age. Bartstown Fire tells us the warehouse was built in the 1950s. Sazerac says a third party inspected the other warehouses and deemed them all safe. It couldn't secure the second half of Warehouse 30 due to worker safety concerns, but took other precautions after fish were killed from spillage in that first collapse. Crews made an existing retention pond deeper and dug an additional one to catch any bourbon. Both KEEC and Kentucky Fish and Wildlife say those moves made all the difference this time around and tell us the spill from the second collapse is very well contained. KEEC's team is checking both Withrow and Beach Fork Creeks every four hours for the first two days after this incident. We're told it usually takes 24 to 72 hours to see any effects on the fish. Kentucky Fish and Wildlife will be back tomorrow and either Saturday or Sunday to check for any potential fish kill. At this time, though, they are very hopeful everything will be fine. Reporting in Bardstown, Sarah Wagner, WHAS 11 News.